games. Now we gotta play them all. So what about the sand train? Choo choo. Woo. Welcome back to uh, today's uh, back to gr- grind grindcast. Talking, um, talking, so and walking. in between episode, I, I said to Barry, I was like, "What are we going to talk about for that?" And he's like, "I don't know. We'll figure it out." And I was like, "Barry, I have a genius idea." And then I typed into Google, I typed random conversation questions, and then I found conversationstarters.com, which is a random conversation generator. Oh, God. So I'm going to annoy Barry, yeah. and Barry's going to answer my questions, and I guess we're going to discuss. I'm just going to wander around the core while we yeah, do Yeah, go for it. That, that random hallway with all the dudes in it was actually really nice. For Are you ready for your first random question, Please. Barry? Please. If you knew what you... If you knew you only had a year to live, what would you do? A year to live? Yeah. Um, hmm. Probably try to travel a lot. You know, travel? See, see see the world. That is a fine answer, my friend. What would you do? I'd make a mark on this world that would never be removed. Like, like, like draw a giant line in the sand. It's really, really deep. Yeah. So it would be there forever. Yeah, absolutely. All right, next topic. <laughs> next. This is, we're off to a fucking brilliant start. Yeah. What is your favorite day of the year, Barry? Favorite day of the year. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Specific Tuesday! Day. Next question! <laughs> Alright, what is the biggest physical challenge you have ever faced? Um, Being too good at coming up with topics. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> what is your favorite subject in school? I'm not in school. Was? I guess that was supposed um, to be past tense. Uh, maybe English? I don't know. English, because we're so good at coming up with conversations. <laughs> Would you rather be homeless Next for a topic. <laughs> Would you rather be homeless for a year or be in jail for a year? Homeless. Mm-hmm. A hundred percent. You homeless? Because like, they, having a criminal record is a bad thing. Well, and I can couch surf. That's true. That doesn't Just because ca- I'm I don't have my own place doesn't mean I can't sleep on a bed somewhere. Exactamondo generate another question for me, baby. Who was the last person that you called or texted, Barry? Uh, I can check my phone. Let's do it it's right now. you, actually. Let's do it right now. Let's tell all okay. the beautiful people at home who was the last person you texted okay. or called. Oh my god, my phone is full of texts from Jack and Brent, so there you go. Okay, what I'm is- who, who, who was it? Who was it? The last one? Yeah, who was the last one? Uh, hold on, I got it. I got I got a fight! This is way more important than your grinding, <laughs> Barry. I think everyone watching will agree that the random topic generator is sufficiently you know I'm more important. I'm a fan important. of the random topic generator, I'm just a little bit preoccupied. Can you imagine <laughs> someone bringing this on a date and someone just saying, "Who was the last person you texted?" And they're like, "Whoa, I mean, Whoa. we're not even in a relationship yet. I don't, I don't want to." Yeah, I don't know. Jack was the last. Jack, person. Jack is the winner. All right, next he said, question. Got it. Got it. Wow. All right. What is the one thing that you would like to change <gasps> about the world? Less you in it. Sorry, that was really mean. Whoa. Are you trying to say you want less interesting conversation? <laughs> then it, that would be a good answer. <laughs> ah! Um. Oh, I'm getting hit a lot. I should heal. Tell me about your dream house. My dream house? I don't know. Whoa, that was fast. Um. Oh my god. I want to send. I want to send someone like a single friend out on a date from like some weird like OK Cupid and make sure that everything he talks <laughs> about is only from ConversationStarters.com and then yeah. candidly film it and see how how oh how far he can get. Huh? Anyway, sorry, sorry. What is your dream home? Tell uh, me about your I dream don't know. home. I, it, it would be like a really nice. Um, Really nice, like modern house, maybe up on a hill with a nice view. Can I? Can I? Some modern amenities. Can I tell you my favorite response to this actual question, which my my good friend Justin back home in in Perth, he lives in Seoul now, I believe. Um, he he said that his (laughs) his dream house was living across the road from his mother, so she could do his laundry, (laughs) and also a bed where there's a TV directly above where you sleep. So you can just watch TV and never get out of bed. And I'm like, that sounds really depressing, that, that dude. Is, that's actually really- It's like, I don't want to do anything. Okay. Ever. Okay, the, well, dream house for me would probably be, uh... I don't know, I think I'm in my dream house. I like it. Oh, it's quaint. It's nice. A, I mean, your house is kind of what I just said. Yeah, it's small. It's not super modern. It's not big, it's- But it's I on like a hill it. and it's got a view. I like it, it's, it's, so, it's nice. Yeah. Alright, so, generate another random topic. I just really want to get a dog at some point. Oh, and I, I do want, too, but I'm I want afraid. like a good yard for a oh, dog. Oh. See, that's the thing, you don't have a great yard. Well, your backyard's actually nice. I have not spent enough time with Mark's dog, and that makes me sad. Yeah. Anyway, what is the most, what a quality about yourself do you value most, Barry? 
What quality? Yeah, do I what value quality about do you value myself? the most? This is most. the question from randomquestionconversationstarters.com. Oh, um, my determination. I don't know. I'm a good listener. Okay, good question. <laughs> okay, answer. Good. Your 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 best quality is your conversation what, ability. What's what's your best quality? Conversations. Ross? Okay. Um, what are you most thankful for this year? Having these great conversations. Uh, it's uh, pretty early in the year. Exactly. So these these great conversations. Yeah, for sure. How would your friends describe you? Really great cool, at conversations. Really cool guy. Good at talking over his friends. Uh, what is the first thing that you think of in the morning? Uh, God, do I have to be up already? My- my thought is actually like, ugh, my t ugh, my tongue tastes gross. Yeah, it's like I need to brush my teeth, or yeah. I need to shower. That's my first- that's always gross. my first. That's I guess every day first. starts with, I feel gross. Yes, I feel gross is actually my first- I think, you know what, that- that is like a- that is like a mid- like late twenties thought, I feel like, cause when I'm a, when I was younger, I would wake up and be like, Oh yeah! Uh, Halo 2 is out! And yeah, that'd well, be my I first be like, oh shit, day. I need to get to school. Or, shit, I, I gotta grind my levels up in World of Warcraft or some shit, but now mm -hmm. it's just like, my tongue feels gross. <laughs> that's, that's an old person. I have person. teeth sweaters. I need to fix that. Teeth sweaters? Yeah, you ever get like that, like, almost like a film on your teeth if you oh. haven't brushed your teeth in a while? Yeah. Like, or you like, went to bed without brushing your like, teeth? Like, not bumpy, but like there's a texture to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We call them teeth sweaters. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. These sweaters are the worst. You gotta brush that shit off. Barry, do you like to dance or sing? Uh, Next question. <laughs> what is your uh, favorite? Let me answer your question. What is your favorite season? Winter. It's coming. It's here. My favorite season. Uh, season five of uh, <laughs> Breaking um, Bad. Of of season uh, five of Breaking Bad. Season really five good. of DS Nine. Sure. Okay, there you go. Um, what is your favorite drink? Mmm. <laughs> I don't know. I drink a lot of water. Like, I like water. You know what? Like, I've been I actually getting... a cool glass of water is actually really nice. I have been getting sufficiently into water. You yeah, know, I gotta say that what? I actually got a yeah. I got a water bottle from Whole Foods, oh, nice. and uh, I, I I decided because yeah, I take fucking, I take yeah. Concerta, which is my 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 ADD medicine when I'm animating, only yes. when I'm animating. Right. Um. Ah. And the one of the side effects is uh, you get dehydrated easily so I've made a habit of keeping a water bottle by me which is so important if you're dehydrated now go have a glass of water that shit yeah. is excellent and it's fucking free bro well kind of it's not free sort of it's like a vending machine in your house you can, you can go to a restaurant and ask for a glass that's of water. free there you free then well, just leave but bo book purchase it. of a meal just probably. say just go to Denny's and be like oh sorry I thought this was IHOP and then leave <laughs> you, know, you get free water you don't have to pay They're for like, it no come back get take some water mm -hmm. please all right. I don't know. It, it's like, I don't know. Yeah, water. <laughs> like, what kind of music do you like to listen to? I listen to a lot of genres. Uh, ooh, nine left. Keep, keep the questions coming. Oh, I know. Uh, um, I like uh, a lot of alt rock, classic rock. Uh, electronica. I like music. I like music that goes do 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 do. Like, like house and electro and uh, 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 chill step. I don't know. Have you read anything good any recently? Have you read? Have you read anything good recently? <laughs> have I read anything good? Um. Yeah, these questions. Well, I, I mean, these topics. I started reading uh, mm. the Dirk Gently series, which oh. was another bunch of books by Douglas Adams who did Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, I actually didn't finish it, because I, I like to bring a book when I travel, and I haven't flown That's good. In, in a while. That's good. Oh, I'm going to be going so. to PAX South, so I will, I will read some book. books there. Bring a book. What um, about you? You read anything? Uh, not currently. I want to get. I want to find a new audiobook to listen to, honestly. Okay. Probably something on writing. I, have, I still have to finish. I have to... Well... I'm trying to think, what haven't I read? Uh, I need to finish. I would, I would go so I far as to say you though. haven't read most things. Me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm well, I'm an audiobook guy. I've well, I think it's impossible to read everything. That's so. true. That's, that's, that's true. the bigger point I'm making. So, like, yeah, there's there's a lot I haven't Barry, read. Barry, what? What is your favorite condiment? Oh. <laughs> 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 did you like how I phrased that question? I did. I have a, what's your favorite condom? <laughs> I like uh, Magnum brand ketchup. Well, I like mayonnaise. Is that a condiment? <laughs> you can put it in a condom. Is, is that a condiment? Technically, yeah, that's yeah, a condiment. Yeah, mayo's, mayo's some good, good sass. Mayo is my favorite condom. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> what are things that you shouldn't say during a marriage proposal? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh probably a lot of things. Don't would, marry me. That's it. Okay. Would you like fries with that? That's a weird question to ask if you were yeah. out on a date and and literally. Like, what's a bad way to relying on this? Someone like, hey, I, what are you doing later? Hey, what are you doing later? Do you want to get married? 
<laughs> are, you are you free? I okay. Mean, what is your favorite words or phrases? Um, I like, well, if you've ever listened to Bulbous Buffont, which is a, like, sketch comedy slash song that aired on the Dr. Demento radio show back mm -hmm. in the day, you can find it on YouTube, Bulbous Buffont. There's, it's entirely about words that are fun, and that's where all my favorite words come from. You know what my favorite phrase it's like is? like, gazebo, and... Y you're gonna know this uh, story, but um, I'll repeat, I'll repeat this story for the people that Please. weren't there. Um, so, we went to Denny's after a twerp oh and, uh, um, NSP concert, yep. and, uh, we were eating, we were eating Denny's, and Holly's just, like, eating her Denny's, and she does the whole, like, uh, eating this food, I'm just gonna get fat, because she, she always does that fishing a compliment thing, and I'm just like, and instead of saying, oh, sweetie, you're not fat, I was just like, that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> she just looked at me and she it was laughed. So funny. She laughed. It was so funny. But it was it was it was the uh, best. So that's what you get has become one of my my favorite responses to someone being trying to fish compliments. <laughs> that that meal is also where the the conversation of Oh, uh, yes, that conversation. <laughs> okay, I want to can I tell the story? Yeah, yeah well, okay. it was you. So, so I want to I had this idea while we were at Denny's. I was like, what if like what if um you said for, how many times? How many times do you think I could approach Dan? Denny, and then, and go like, hey Denny, what's up? But without him knowing, I said Denny. You said Denny instead I of said Danny. Denny. So like, hey Denny, what's up? Like you gotta say it like that, and he wouldn't know. He wouldn't notice. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna do it, and he won't notice. So Ross, Ross poses this hypothetical, and then I'm like, uh, once. I believe you would walk and be like, hey, d d Denny. And he'd be like, what? Did you just call me Denny? <laughs> yeah. What was that? I wanted to film it and call it the Denny experiment. <laughs> well, then, then I told I told Dan about it, and he was like, "Yeah, like once. Like what the hell? Like I think I know what my own name sounds <laughs> right, like." Yeah. But here's the here's the twist. I was at Denny's, and someone said, <gasps> "One left." Someone said Denny when really? we were there. Well, because and, and and me and Katie were there, and we looked around. We thought someone said Denny. Oh my god. So I was like, "Oh my god, there's there's still there's still there's still." There's a possibility, mm -hmm. and I thought maybe you know I could walk up to Aaron and say Aaron instead and see oh, how many Aaron times he's gonna e. notice. Yeah, see how many oh, times he's gonna really notice sneaky. that one. All right. It's like, hey, what how, did how you many have? times can you say my name with B E R R Y without me noticing? What's your earliest memory, Barry? Um, it's a little bit morbid. Oh God, please. But it was um, a a bird had flown into our window. Oh, I have a memory of that too. And, That's so weird. And it was just dead on the ground. Oh. And I had like a little like pedal car. And I remember like pedaling around it. Oh. I was probably uh, maybe like four. When my great grandmother died, um, we were actually having the funeral, and it, there's a glass screen nearby, and I saw this beautiful parrot fly in and hit it and break oh. its neck and fall down. And this was my first time ever watching anyone die with the funeral and all that. Mm. So like it was death was fairly new to me. So I took this beautiful parrot. I'm trying to remember what kind of parrot it was. There's a lot of really pretty parrots um, in in mm. Australia. But um, that's it. I, I, I oh, beautiful, everyone. beautiful. So I took this parrot and then I took I put him in a box. And the, the the undertaker or whoever was the in charge of the the funeral. I don't think it's area. is that an undertaker. I think so. I don't, I don't know. Like the wrestler. Wait, the music didn't stop. Oh, it has to do the but yeah. nobody came. But anyway, uh, I put it in a Let's box, I brought it home, and I actually, I had there a little, f me and my sister had a funeral for this poor parrot that died. And it was, that was my, that was my, f mm -hmm. as, a, as a child, that was my first experience with death. Hmm. Yeah. It's weird that that's like a first memory for- But, but that's not my first memory. Oh. It, actually, my first memory is getting, uh, clawed from, uh, from my, basically getting a, my face cut open by a cat. I remember that oh, vividly. Yes. I was three years old, but I can still remember it. I know that story. You told yeah. Me that. Yeah, I've told on the show okay, before. Okay, well, that was- you know what? I gotta give that app credit. Yeah, that was pretty useful. That Holy shit! Actually. That made was this just Steam Train easy mode? I think I just fucking made the, the, this. has changed keep, how we. I'm just gonna keep this handy when we go back to Pokemon. Oh my god! Yeah, this, Pokemon Art Academy this, done, this, done. Like fly by, it's fly by. Okay. Oh wait, here, wait. Just before oh, we go, let's sure. have a question for the audience at home. Please Ooh. answer this below. Okay. If there was an extra hour every day, what would you do with it? Masturbation. I was gonna say that Next too. Next question. <laughs> no, that's for the. That's for everyone. At okay, fine. The comments. It's just. <laughs> all right. All the comments are gonna be masturbation, and people are gonna be like, "Why? Why is everyone saying that?" Kevin, this episode better fucking be called Random Question Generator. <laughs> A we'll random call, conversation generator. Sorry. Anyway, we'll next call, time we'll call it grinding for days. Gr grinding to the core. Met a ton of grinding. Grinding on the pole.